babies, it's Haley. I hope you guys are doing well and staying spooky. Um, today is going to be a little bit of a different video. I am going to go through my Halloween decorations to get ready to decorate. Um, I want to try and I want to try and get rid of some because I bought so many new ones this year. Uh, I need I need room for my tiny apartment. I just have too much stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna try and do that. It's probably gonna be a little bit of a chill video today. I'm just gonna go through and talk about Halloween and sort out my stuff. And you guys are gonna keep me in company. So let's dive into this gigantic box. Um, so I actually have this sorted out as Halloween and Christmas. So I am going to take all of the Christmas stuff out. You guys probably aren't that interested in that, but yeah, so I'm going to do that first and then I'll get to the bottom and grab my spooky stuff. So I got all of the Christmas stuff out of there. It's kind of funny because Christmas is probably a fourth of this box. You can definitely tell what my favorite holiday is. Uh, I'm already excited because I kind of forget what I have. All right, so let's get into it. Oh boy. Okay, so these babies are from Spirit Halloween. You can probably tell, but my Halloween aesthetic is vintage, retro. I really, really like the, like the 40s to the 60s Halloween decorations. That's kind of my vibe. So I lost my mind when I came across those masks. I have two more. I have three more. <laughs> I have Dracula, the mummy. This pumpkin boy. I was gonna buy this. I totally forgot I had this. I was gonna buy this this year. I probably got it on, it's still got the tags attached. So I'm guessing I probably bought it when Spirit was doing their clearance stuff and just completely forgot. So I'm very excited about that. I can't wait to find room for those in my room. I have this really pretty tinsel wreath and garlands. It's purple and it's got bats, which is amazing. My kitty's a brat and she likes to chew on tinsel and I did have to take her to the vet one year from eating tinsel off our Christmas tree. So I, I'm thinking I might give this up this year even though I love it. It's just, she's old and I don't trust her with it. I got this Robin costume. We stand a lesbian icon. I got this for Halloween a couple years ago, probably the same year as the season of Stranger Things came out. I love Robin, but um, I've seemed to lost my shorts that came with it as well, but I'm thinking I might get this up this year. I'm probably not gonna be Robin again, even though I love her. I like to be something new every year. So yeah, this one's gonna go, I think. We got a couple of these Skull Boys. I think they were originally from Target when Canada had Target. So these guys are really cool. Um, when you light the wicks, they bleed out red. Well, when you light the wicks and they melt, they start to melt red from the inside, so it kind of looks like they're bleeding. I lit them because I was too scared. I think I'm gonna actually get rid of these this year. I like them, but white and black isn't really my aesthetic. They're cool, but I think somebody else could use them better than me. I love him. It's a vintage little ceramic house. It's got little ghosty boys, which is why I had to buy it, because you know I love ghosty boys. It's very vintage. It's got a little cord and a light bulb on the inside. I don't even think I'd be able to change it if the light bulb died. Haven't even plugged it in. It still has a zip tie on it, but um, got it from a secondhand store for like three bucks. I love it. Um, keep it. Literally obsessed with these bottle brush trees. Um, Bottle brush trees are like my favorite Christmas trend. It feels very 50s, 60s to me. So when I saw these Halloween versions, I lost my mind and had to get them. They're both from Michaels. Um, they might still have some this year. Uh, so if you're interested, keep an eye out. I have these uh, glass um, Halloween Christmas tree ornaments. I got pumpkins and then ghosty boys and uh, little baubles. Um, I do have a little black Christmas tree that I haven't decided if I'm going to set it up this year or not. I have to find a place that's good and my cat's not going to get at it because like I said, she likes to eat things. Halloween lights, probably keep those. 
I bought these from Party City for a look I was gonna do, but I never used them. So I'm gonna sell these guys. This is my topper for my Halloween tree. It is, uh, it's a Nightmare Before Christmas Pumpkin King. Had to do it to him. I'm missing the blocks, but this is my Halloween countdown. I got it from Michaels last year. I love him. I really like the scaredy cat sort of theme. Again, retro looking. Love potion. It's purple, it's cute. Might put it in the bathroom for decor. This little guy I got from Spirit when it was on clearance. I don't really know if I've ever had a proper place to put it, but just now I had a good idea for what I'm gonna do with it. So this guy's gonna stay. Got more jars here. It is black cat um, cauldron polish. <laughs> my sweet baby boy. My favorite decoration that I got last year. I am so excited just to see him again. I think he's ceramic. Um, he's from Michaels. He's huge, like bigger than my head. Um, I'm definitely keeping him, of course. Um, Adam bought it for me, so thank you. <laughs> um, I love this. I love it so much. More bottle brush trees. These ones are little. They kind of got squashed, but I'm sure I can, I can fix them. More cute ghosty boys. This one again is from Michaels. Michaels really was killing it last year, I think, with their Halloween stuff. Yeah, death tarot card, prayer candle from Spirit. Got it because I thought it was cool. That's so funny because it's. It was years ago and now I'm actually doing tarot card readings. I love tarot. This is one of my favorite pieces I've ever got. I've had this for quite a few years as well. It is um, just a little felt garland. Um, I love the colors. They're very traditional Halloween. Every day I put them up somewhere, I think it looks really cool. So these guys, of course, I'm keeping. My black Christmas tree and then my tree skirt which is again nightmare before christmas Ooh, we've got the vampire teddy bear and then this crazy duck reminds me of psycho duck from the proud family if you get that reference we're now best friends pumpkin candle Ooh. oh it smells so good it's it's supposed to be it's pumpkin spice um i've had this for a few years i got it from pure one when those were still a thing they're not anymore so cute like it. There's some Christmas stuff hiding in the bottom of here. Got some stuff I'm gonna get rid of already for Christmas. So that's kind of funny. Uh, that's going to. Would you look at that? More stuff to sell. It's Christmas. It's been quite productive. Ooh, okay. So this is a little lace, um, like mantle decoration that you like hang on your mantle as you can see it's jack skellington um it's got little spiders and it's cute i like i have it on my headboard um so i'm gonna be putting that back up similar to that i have this boy it's a door like a door decoration i have it usually have it on the back of my door um, it's hard it's hard to see but it's got like fringe on it same lacy detail lots of jack skellington heads lots of bats it's very cute uh, i got both of these guys from spirit halloween this is wrapped in an old an old lush halloween bandana ban ban it's wrapped in an old lush halloween uh package bandana on when you bought like a set i don't even remember what the package was but this was like probably five years ago what is in this oh i forgot about this one this one is one of my halloween mugs i think i got it the same trip i got the old-fashioned three dollar thrift store um ceramic house it's uh it's pretty cute it's just jack-o-lantern and then a couple kitty cats more jack-o'-lanterns it's cute it's vintage it matches the aesthetic so keep it i i feel like i did pretty good i was able to give up some things i found some things i forgot about which is exciting yeah I, in my head i thought this video was going to be less haul like and more like let's chit chat and talk about things 
um, which I didn't really do. <laughs> I was gonna tell you guys a, what, a couple of my favorite Halloween stories and stuff. Um, but I guess I just got distracted by my decor. I don't know if that's something you're interested in. Um, maybe I can do a get ready with me where I just like talk about Halloween stuff. Um, is that something that you'd like to watch? Feel free to let me know uh, in the comments, that'd be great. Thanks so much for hanging out with me while I go through my Halloween stuff. I really needed the moral support on what to get rid of. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Let me know what your favorite Halloween piece that you bought in the past is. I'd love to hear about it. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Why? Why do I always look at the wrong side? Ugh.